Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sarayas. This video is about the test and results for identification of gases and flame dust. First, I will talk about identification of gases. The learning outcome for this video lesson is describe test to identify the gases, ammonia, NH3, using damp red litmus paper, carbon dioxide, CO2 using lime water, chlorine, Cl2 using damp litmus paper, hydrogen, H2 using a lighted splint, oxygen, O2 using a glowing splint, sulfur dioxide, SO2 using acidified aqueous potassium magnate 7. I will share tests and observations for all the gases mentioned in the SLO. I will also talk about their action on litmus paper. So let's start testing gases. So first gas is ammonia, NH3. The test and observation is a pungent smell gas and then a glass or dipped in hydrochloric acid is brought close to this gas, white dense fume will be produced. And your smell. Then a glass rod dipped in HCl is brought. Close to this gas. White dense fumes will be produced. Action on litmus paper. It turns moist, damp red litmus to blue because the gas is basic or alkaline in water. That this produces OH and negative ion in water. Carbon dioxide. And bubbled through lime water turns solution milky, extinguishes burning splint or mastic. Then bubbled through lime water turns solution milky. Extinguishes the next print of matchstick. That's why it's used in fire extinguisher. It's an acidic gas, which means it turns moist, damp blue litmus paper to red. Turns Moist or damp blue this paper red chlorine. It's a yellowish green or pale green gas. Yellowish. Green or pale green gas. The gas is also acidic in nature, which initially turns blue litmus paper red, then bleaches damp blue litmus paper. Bleaches damp litmus paper.
hydrogen gas H2. When a burning splinter is brought near to the gas, pop sound will be produced. So you write pops up or produces squeaky sound. With the burning splint. It's colorless, it is colorless and explosive gas. There is no action on litmus paper. Oxygen gas O2 relights or rekindle a glowing splinter or mastic. Relights or rekindle the glowing splinter. Again, it has no action on the litmus paper. Last one is sulfur dioxide. It's also a pungent smell gas, but it turns acidified aqueous potassium magnate 7 from purple to colorless. Pungent smell gas, which turns acidified aqueous. Potassium magnate seven from purple to colorless from purple to colorless. It's an acidic oxide. So it turns moist, damp blue litmus paper to red due to the production of H positive ion in water. Now I will show you the change in color of litmus for ammonia, carbon dioxide chlorine and sulfur dioxide. For ammonia, you will see the final blue color like this. This is the final blue color, which will be like purplish. When moist or damp red litmus paper is brought near to this pungent smell gas. Due to alkaline or basic nature of ammonia. In water, a carbon dioxide gas, carbon dioxide is an acidic oxide. Acidic oxide, and we know that with the exception of water, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen monoxide, all the other non-metal oxides act as acidic oxide. Therefore, it turns moist blue litmus paper red. It's a red color you will obtain due to acidic nature of the gas in water. Chlorine gas is not basic or alkaline gas, but acidic. So when moist blue litmus paper is brought near to the gas, it will turn it red and then bleaches it like this. Acidic, not basic. So this one is bleach. due to Cl2 gas. 
Sulfur dioxide gas is an acidic oxide just like CO2. Therefore, it will turn moist or damp blue liquid vapor red due to the production of a positive ion in the water. Acidic oxide. So this is due to acidic nature of the gas. In water. Now I will talk about the flame test. This one is a short one. You just need to remember the flame color for some metal ions in the SLO. The learning outcome is describe the use of a flame test to identify the cations, lithium Li positive, sodium Na positive. Potassium K positive, calcium Ca positive, Ca2 positive, barium Ba2 positive, copper 2, Cu2 plus. So lithium, lithium gives a red color in flame. So you write red. Sodium or Na positive ion gives yellow color in the flame. So you write yellow here. Potassium gives lilac color. Lilac color is purplish. Calcium Ca2 plus gives orange red color. Barium gives green color. Pale green, in fact. Pale green. CO2 plus, as you all know, it gives blue-green color. The flame, it will give blue-green color. So you have a color like this. Blue, green. Thanks for watching. Press like, give comments, and share my video. For more videos, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.